In this video, you will learn how to bulk add watermark to your 150 plus Etsy listing images in less than 3 minutes. Etsy is filled with copycats and scammers. Sellers have already reported their listing images being stolen and used in other shops. One way to protect your creation is adding full page watermark to your listing images. Similar to these examples, I'll show you how you can create your own personalized watermark and apply them to all your listing images in the fastest way possible. To create your watermark, let us jump to Photoshop. Go to File, New. On the width and height, enter 2000, 2000, resolution is 72. And in the background content, from the drop down, select Transparent. Hit on Create. There are two types of watermark that you can create. A logo watermark and a text watermark. Take a look at how to create a text watermark. So go ahead and grab this text tool from the toolbar. Click on the center of the canvas. Change the text color to black. And type in any text you want. I'll type in do not copy. You may not change the font if you may wish uh, from the drop down. Uh, there are different fonts that you can select. I'll settle down for this script font. Now the next step is uh, grab the move tool. Hold control on your keyboard. Go to this layer panel and left click on this thumbnail. The text has been highlighted. Go to image and select crop. Now press Ctrl D to deselect. So we basically crop down the entire canvas to fit only our text. Now go to image, canvas size uh, from the drop down. Instead of pixel, select percentage. Now I want to add some negative spaces around the text. So from the width, I'll select 150 and the height, I'll select 115 and hit on OK. Uh, this will add negative spaces around the uh, four edges of this text. Now, uh, press Ctrl A. This will make a selection of the entire canvas. Go to Edit and select Define Pattern. You can name the pattern as Do Not Copy and hit on OK. Now, press Ctrl D and now you can close this file. Our watermark has been created. To show you how to apply that watermark, I've opened this image in Photoshop. Next on the layers panel, you'll go and select this fill option and then choose pattern. The pattern fill prompt will appear. From the drop down, you'll find the newly created pattern at the end. Select that. Uh, this is the one that we created. Now there are a few other options. First is scale. You can decrease or increase the scale. See what uh, fits your liking. I think 45 looks good. And then you can also play with the angle. So I'll settle for this 32 degree and hit on OK. Now the watermarks looks too heavy and dark. So you can go ahead and reduce the opacity. Maybe 30 or 27% looks good. Now this is how you apply your watermark in any image. Similarly, you can also create a watermark for your logo. Once your watermark is ready, now let us apply them to all your listing images. The best way to apply watermark on the listing images is by automating the entire process. For this demo, I'll be applying the watermark that I just created on all these 150 images. And I'll be doing this in less than three minutes. Yes, you heard that right. Let us jump on Photoshop and see how we can automate this whole process. Step one is I'll create a Photoshop template. I'll go to File, New, you must be aware that Etsy recently announced that all their images needs to be in square format. So I'll select width as 2000 and height as 2000, uh, resolution 72, background content as transparent and click on create. Uh, next, I'll select this fill pattern and then I'll select the watermark. Either I could go with this do not copy or this logo. Uh, whichever is convenient. I'll select this do not copy for this demo. Uh, change the angle to maybe yeah, 24% and the scale to around 34 or maybe I'll change the scale to 40%. Uh, hit on OK. 
Next, I'll grab one of the image as a placeholder. Place it in Photoshop and then select this check mark. Now I'll press Ctrl D and enlarge this to fit the entire screen. I'll pull this image in the bottom and then I'll select this pattern layer and change the opacity to 40%. Uh, this looks nice. Now, I'll go ahead and save it as a PST file. Now, I'll close this. Our template is ready. Next, I'll go to the drive. I'll create a new folder here and I'll name this template. I'll drag and place this template inside this folder. Now we will automate this process using Bulk Mockup Photoshop plugin. Go to Plugins and pull out Bulk Mockup. If you are not already aware, Bulk Mockup is a revolutionary Photoshop plugin that helps you automate mockup creation and will be doing just that. So how it works is, uh, there are three fields. The first field is PSD template folder. We'll hit on these three icons, browse and select the template folder. Hit on open. Then we have design file folder. We'll browse and select our images just to show you it has all 150 listing images. Hit on open. And the third option is export folder. So hit on browse and I'll create a new folder and we can call this export. Create and then open it. Now, I can click on start generating and at the same time, I'll start the stopwatch just to keep track of time and see how much time it takes to apply watermark into all 150 images. Now, click on start generating. A bulk mockup has started its magic and it is applying watermark into all their images. Uh, let me open the export folder and show how this is working. So, Photoshop is working behind the scenes. Uh, this is our folder structure. Uh, let me open the export. And as you can see, uh, Bulk Mockup is applying the watermark and exporting the images. R22, uh, 424 icons. And look at the speed at which it is applying the watermarks. Uh, let me zoom in and show you. A bulb mockup has done its job. And you can see watermark applied to all these images in a super fast way. To learn more about bulb mockup, uh, go visit bulbmockup.com. If you like this video, you may also like this next video, which shows how to bulk resize your Etsy listing to 1 is to 1 square format. Go check that out.